What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today, me and my boy Ty, we're here at the Circuit of the Americas, behind me somewhere. And what's going on is uh, OUSCI, so it's the Optima Ultimate Street Car Invitational. And basically in the Optima Series, if you win your class at one of the other events, you get to compete in the Invitational. And usually it takes place at SEMA in Las Vegas. Due to COVID, there are no, there's no uh, SEMA or Las Vegas this year, so they brought it to another bucket list track, which is right here, Circuit of the Americas. So they brought out people like uh, Von Gittin Jr., they did some uh, drift demos, there's going to be more drifting today, and we're basically just kind of covering everything and checking out some sweet cars. So that's what we're doing. Alright, show y'all more in a minute. Alrighty, so we're going to get going, we're going to get on the other side, and uh, oh, so yesterday we, uh, we went and got some media passes, and we got some pretty sick, uh, <laughs> what are they? Uh, Reflective vests, yeah. and we can literally go anywhere. So we were on the track yesterday, just like track side, uh, getting some uh, just really up close shots of some drifting, as close as we could get without getting yelled at. So ton of fun, got some great footage, but let's get to the other side. My name is Luke Vigneault, I'm from Hickory, North Carolina, and I drive a 2011 Challenger RT, uh, nicknamed Big Red. So Big Red is powered by a 426 stroker that originated as a 6.2 Hellcat motor. So it's basically a BGE Hellcat block that's been stroked with Hellcat heads and a uh, stock, very inexpensive, awesome camshaft, which is the stock 6.2 Hellcat cam. The Elephant 426 Hemi that's in this car is powered by a Vengeance 2650 from Magnuson. By far one of the best supercharger system on the planet right now for this, for this platform. Um, it's a 2650, has very, very good cooling capacity, uh, makes tons and tons of horsepower, very easy to adjust. We can change the pulleys on the back, it's got a jack shaft, we can quickly change the pulleys, uh, change the tune on the car and power up or power down as we need it. Right now we're making 950 horsepower. We're limited by tires. Unfortunately, in the Optima series, we run a 200 thread wear tire, which really limits the amount of power we can actually put on the ground. So what we've done is we've detuned the car a little bit to about 947, 48 horsepower, and just a little over 950 foot-pounds. And it can be a bear to launch this thing, especially when it's wet. Hey, this is Luke from Steve White Motors and Pitty's Garage. Uh, once upon a time, Big Red was just a regular Challenger RT. If you've got one, put it together. Put some stickers on it, come and play with us. We all started somewhere.
2004 Mustang GT, and I'm from Southern California. So we're racing in the uh, Optima Ulti Ultimate Streetcar Series, and we are currently at the Optima Ultimate Streetcar Invitational, which uh, means you have to either win your way in or point your way in based on your best three finishing events. Um, and so these are the fastest, best cars, Ultimate Streetcars in the country. Um, we are driving an 04 Mustang, and the reason, one of the main reasons we, we're driving an 04 Mustang in a class of modern muscle cars is because the car I started with. Um, my dad and I have been building it for se six to seven years, and you know, we always wanted to make an old car go fast with uh, the aftermarket community. So we're kind of known for uh, breaking down often. Unfortunately, um, when you're driving an old car like this one, uh, stuff happens. And I mean, we've had power steering flu fluid leaks, fittings leaks, pumps that went, and I mean, you name it, we've experienced it. We blew the rings in March, uh, removed the engine, put the engine in, and you know what? We came out here, car was flawless. Yesterday, the day before. Um, getting more confident with the car, and I, I mean, we, we barely put it on jack stands this whole weekend, and came in today, which is the track day, uh, first time at Coda, and just sent it. I mean, I started getting more comfortable every lap, and pushing the limits, the car just felt great every lap, it was like, is this all you got? Um, Unfortunately, on my second session, uh, about the fourth lap in, uh, engine cut out at the top of one, and I'm not exactly sure what happened, but uh, my dad said he saw about two fireballs come out of the exhaust, so engine cut out coming down one, I went through two, three, four, came out of five, got it off track. Um, could not get the motor to turn over. We were le leaking a little bit of coolant. Um, was hot, about 230 degrees, but nothing, nothing, uh, nothing tragic at that at those temps. Uh, so it was a little concerning. Not concerning. It was confusing why the engine cut out. So we're thinking either we blew the rings again, or we lost oil pressure. But. So far, we're still diagnosing what the heck went on with our engine. <laughs> this engine's fried. This is unbelievable. I can't move that thing at all. That is one seized block. It is now a paperweight. Cool. All right. Well, we have a new engine in our in our uh, life. Put it next to the other one. Yeah. All right. Call it a wrap. We're done. Oh. So you can't move the motor. And that's not good. <laughs> so, yeah. Two motors, one year. This year's going well. Really well. Uh, very unexpected. Very frustrating. Yeah, so you know what? Even after all this uh, frustration, uh, time in, time out. Uh, we can't thank Optima Batteries enough for putting on such an incredible event. Um, this is a world-class Formula One racetrack. To get an opportunity to race here, experience an F1 garage, um, it just it just shows how incredible uh, a company Optima Batteries is. And all the sponsors, Lingenfelter, Falcon, uh, QA1, Lucas Oil, Map TV. I mean, it's just... You guys make this happen, and Jimmy Day, I mean, what a phenomenal um, host, and just, you know, he's the man. He's who puts this on, and he makes this thing run smooth every time. Honestly, I can't wait for 2021 to come back out and see, uh, see if we can't get a podium next year, because we are so close.
All right. Yes, sir. Turning that down right now. All right, guys. This is the end of the High Performance Expo, day two. We're out here for two days total. The first day we really just focused on filming, walking around everywhere. Mm -hmm. We're kind of whooped. Uh, we're now staying for the award ceremony because uh, that's like a few hours from now, and uh, we're just ready to get back. But overall, this was uh, this was a lot of fun. I'm gonna hand over the camera to Ty real quick. Start driving out of here. Uh, yeah, it was a great showing. Uh, a lot of cars, a lot of great cars. I mean, a little turbo S action. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what next year holds and what next year brings. Yeah, so basically I really wanted to come out here because I mean like in the army you train how you fight and you study your enemy. Well over here, uh, everybody within my class, I mean they're technically all competition, but it is friendly competition, but I like to see what they're doing, what they're not doing, uh, see what works, what doesn't work. And everybody's so friendly out here that if you need any pointers or any tips, I mean, you know, we help each other out. Uh, there's certain things that like I'm stronger at, there's certain things that, you know, Matt is stronger at, and we just help each other as much as we can. So really it is a tight knit little family and it's always good to catch up with everybody. But I think that's pretty much, let me pull out of here. So I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So anyways, that wraps up today's video. If you guys like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out. Cruising down the street, my hand meets.